In this lecture, we are going to discuss the circulatory reflex initiated by baroreceptors. Now, what happens when the baroreceptors has been activated? In the last two lectures, we have discussed the physiologic anatomy of the baroreceptors and we have also uh, discussed the response of baroreceptors to arterial pressure. Now we are basically discussing the nervous regulation of the circulation and in nervous regulation we are discussing the baroreceptor arterial pressure control system. How the baroreceptor is helping in control of the arterial pressure. We have already discussed that baroreceptors are basically stretch receptors also known as uh, pressoreceptors present in most of the arteries in the thorax but are specifically present in the aortic arch and bifurcation of the carotid arteries. And they respond to the pressure when there is increased pressure in around 80 mm of mercury to around 120 mm of mercury and normally below 80 mm of mercury they are inactive, they are not sending any impulses to the brain. But the, the, the main function of the baroreceptor is to keep the arterial pressure in check, to keep the arterial pressure normal. So they basically respond, they respond more in around 80 mm of mercury to around 120 mm of mercury and they respond more when there is rapid changing occurring in the arterial pressure. Now once they have responded, once there is an increase in the arterial pressure, once the baroreceptors in the aorta and the carotid has, have been activated and once they have the the carot the baroreceptors have sent a signal with the help of vagus nerve and the glossopharyngeal nerve to retract the solitarius of the brain then what happens then the vasoconstrictor area vasoconstrictor area The vasoconstrictor area in the vasomotor center gets inhibited when there is an increase in arterial pressure. When there is an increase in arterial pressure, this increase in pressure has is being detected by the baroreceptors and they send a signal to the uh, brain. The brain in the brain in the, in the tractus solitarius area, when this signal is detected, the reflex initiated include the inhibition of vasoconstrictor area and activation of vasodilator or uh, the parasympathetic area. So there is basically inhibition of vasoconstrictor area and uh, the there is activation of the vagal parasympathetic area now when these two have uh, these two changes have occurred this caused dilation at the level of arterioles dilation at the level of arterioles when arterioles get dilated when the arterioles get dilated when these arterioles get dilated arterial pressure falls down because the the resistance to blood flow in the small arterioles is decreased because the di diameter of the blood vessel increase because the vasoconstrictor area has been inhibited so vasoconstrictor fibers with the help of sympathetic nerve coming to this area get get inhibited and dilation occur at the level of arterioles so resistance drop and arterial pressure also drops then the parasympathetic area get activated and it decrease it decrease the heart rate it decrease the heart rate so vasodilation occur at the level of arterioles at the level of blood in the blood vessels and heart rate also decrease so in response to high arterial pressure in response to high arterial pressure the reflex initiated is ends up in decreased arterial pressure high arterial pressure high arterial pressure creates such signals and it initiates such 
reflex uh, by the bero receptor that ends in decreasing the arterial pressure so the purpose of the bero receptors is to uh, maintain homeostasis to maintain normal condition if the bp or the arterial pressure is increasing then it tries to decrease it but how it is decreasing it it decreases the pressure with the help of vasodilation because the vasoconstrictor area is inhibited and it leads it causes decrease in the heart rate by activating the para, vagal parasympathetic area in the vasomotor center now that is something we have discussed previously that in the vasomotor center which is controlling the vasoconstriction as vasodilation and the increasing and decreasing the heart rate it is also present in the uh, brain and it is also influenced influenced by the higher centers so overall uh, we are basically discussing the nervous regulation of the circulation and it clearly shows that there is very very important role of the nervous system in regulation in regulating the circulation now to prove our point that the bero receptor helps in maintaining the arterial pressure here we are doing an experiment in this experiment in a normal uh, in a normal person the carotid arteries both these carotid arteries this carotid artery and this carotid artery they are clamped they are clamped so that there is no blood no blood is flowing to these carotid sinuses because we have discussed that bero receptors are present at the bifurcation and in the aortic arch so bero receptors in the aortic arch are present but blood supply to the carotid bifurcation is clamped here as soon the carotids are clamped blood flow in these vessels drop blood flow in these vessels drop when the blood flow drops the arterial pressure also drops when the arterial pressure drops then no impulses are generated the bero receptors are uh, get inhibited or no impulses are uh, sent or transferred to the brain it leads to activation the reverse phenomena occur when the arterial pressure was increasing it was basically causing vasoconstriction Uh, inhibition of the vasoconstrictor area and activation of vagal parasympathetic area but when there is no flow the reverse phenomena occur the the parasympathetics get inhibited and the vasoconstrictor areas get activated it leads to increase pressure in the aorta so here the pressure the pressure is being shown the pressure shown is that of the aorta so the aortic pressure increases from the normal of 100 mm of mercury to around 150 mm of mercury because pressure has been decreased at the level of the carotid sinus bero receptors are uh, taking the signals uh, they 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 are initiating a reflex they are initiating a reflex which will bring back the pressure the the main purpose of the bero receptor is to decrease the pressure when it is increasing and to increase the pressure when it is decreasing so when the carotid arteries are clamped here the these bero receptors they detect it as a fall in the pressure so they initiate a reflex which leads to increase pressure in the aorta because blood cannot come to these arteries so it only increases in the aorta and the pressure in the aortic artery basically increases to around 150 as soon as the carotid are clamped the pressure in the aortic uh, arch increases then as soon as then as soon as the carotid arteries are released the clamps are released there is a sudden drop in the pressure in the aortic uh, aorta there is a sudden drop in aortic pressure it falls so much that it even falls below the normal range and it rather compensates for the increased pressure and after some time it becomes normal so bero receptors basically they can initiate circulatory reflex and when there is a fall in the blood uh, when there is a fall in the arterial pressure they can increase the arterial pressure and when there is an increase in the arterial pressure they can decrease the arterial pressure now 
how they do it when the arterial pressure increases signals are being uh, transmitted to the brain and the brain causes the inhibition of vasoconstrictor area and activation of vagal parasympathetic area it leads to dilation at the arteriolar level and decrease in the heart rate which which also decrease the pumping power of the heart these uh, this reflex basically this reflex basically leads to decrease in arterial pressure so increase in arterial pressure initiates a reflex which leads to a decrease in the arterial pressure and it the baroreceptors are trying to to normalize the arterial pressure but if the arterial pressure is decreased for example when the carotid arteries are clamped then they initiate such a such a reflex which will lead to increase in the aortic pressure which will lead to increase in the aortic uh, pressure and as soon as the they are uh, the pressure is normalized then the arterial pressure becomes normal so that's all about the the reflexes the circulatory reflexes initiated by the baroreceptors when the arterial pressure is decreasing and when the arterial pressure is increasing and that shows the importance of the nervous system in the regulation of circulation so that's all about circulatory reflex of the baroreceptor thanks a lot for watching the video